everyone. Thank you for joining us here on CBS News. I'm Tony DeCopo. And I'm Lilia Luciano. Here is a look at the top stories we're following on this busy news day. All eyes are on Miami, Florida, as the city prepares for the historic federal indictment of former President Donald Trump. Also, a Philadelphia tanker fire and then road collapse shuts down part of the East Coast's busiest highway, and it could take months to fix. Ukrainian troops retake a southern village from Russian control as part of the long-awaited counteroffensive. And later this hour, a new kink in the U.S. supply chain. We look at the reasons tens of thousands of shipping containers are left on ships. They're now stacking up at West Coast ports. And the Denver Nuggets are just one win away from the city's first ever NBA championship. That would be a good thing for Denver. We'll take a look at what the Heat have to bring and they best to get the series back to Florida. Yeah, we'll see about that. <laughs> Well, in the meantime, big news. Former President Donald Trump is headed to Miami ahead of tomorrow's first appearance or appearance at a federal court. Yeah, he is accused of the willful retention of classified documents and then lying to the FBI about what he had. Uh, Trump is expected to formally be arraigned uh, about 3 p.m. Eastern. That's today in the Southern District of Florida. Shortly after, he will fly to his golf course in New Jersey. This is going to happen tomorrow, we expect, where he will deliver remarks. During a campaign stop in Georgia over the weekend, he already delivered some remarks. He mocked the federal charges he's now facing. 